What's up everybody, Brandon here. I'm gonna be working on a project at my own house today and I wanna just make a video out of it. Maybe somebody can learn something or maybe it can be helpful for somebody else. And that is going to be the wiring for my well. So basically when we moved in, the wiring was kind of shoddy and just not great. I'll show you in a minute, but the goal here today is to redo it, make it neat, put a light fixture on each side. So that way we can warm this up. Uh, today it's about 40 degrees out. Uh, I'm going to get my thermal camera in a second and see what the uh, temperature is in there right now. And then we're going to see what it looks like after. Um, but basically the goal is so that my pipes don't freeze. We're going to have some cold days coming up here uh, down in the 20s at night. So uh, I just want to kind of freeze proof this well house basically. So that's what we're going to be doing today. All right, so like I said, today is about 40 degrees. I haven't opened it yet, so I'm just going to go ahead and open it and see what the temperature is on the inside. All right, so the water lines are about 60. That's actually pretty good, I'm not going to lie. The pump itself is about 80. It was running a minute ago. All right, so it's not as bad as I thought. Um, it did come with a little heat strip that runs across here. I'm not sure if that actually works or not. Um, and I don't really like the way it's set up anyway, so. But with it, it did freeze one time last year and I want to prevent that from happening this year, so. Um, yeah, we're gonna get started here with this. All right, so here's what it looks like without the thermal. Um, we got the pump over here, a tank, and this line speed feeds a little water spigot right here, and then it goes down, and that's what goes to the house. Um, this is the wire that comes in from the house, and it just goes to this plastic box, which plugs up to the little heat strip which I'm gonna get rid of. And also a plug for the pump itself, which I'm gonna redo as well. Uh, I'm also gonna clean this up a little bit. There's, looks like a snake that lived in here at some point, but hopefully he uh, won't mess with me. Um, all I've really done in here so far is uh, foam the top. And I did that last year to just try to seal it off as best as I could. I'm gonna redo this plywood at some point too. Um, it has shingles on top. So I wanna redo that so that way it's not molding and leaking in here. So yeah, that's the idea. We're gonna get started. So this right here was just an old abandoned line. Doesn't go to anything. I'm gonna take this drop cord off of this pump and I'm gonna hardwire this in as well. Um, that way we can get rid of this cord. I got rid of that little heat strip. Uh, I'm not sure if that thing even worked to be fair, but we got it out. And this is the line that feeds from the house. So I'm gonna redo this and put something on this wall. So uh, this is the state of it currently. Let's keep going. So I installed this backing board 
and screwed it straight to the concrete so it's pretty sturdy um, we're gonna hit this switch right here the switch is gonna control everything uh, including the pumps so from the switch I'm gonna do a pull chain light fixture here and I'm not I'm wiring these in a way that even if the light fixture fails it's still gonna feed power to the other side I got both of these connected and a piece coming off that's gonna go to the light fixture and I'm just doing a very simple porcelain um, pull chain fixture here I'm gonna put a, a big light bulb in there to heat this way and same I'm gonna do the same thing on this side and that'll throw heat this way so um, that's what we got so far So as I'm doing this, it is sleeting outside. So it seems like a pretty good time to get this done. Uh, but basically here's the idea. We got a switch that's gonna control everything. Um, we got a little heat lamp in here. Um, we're gonna do the same thing on this side and I'm gonna hardwire in my pump. So. I do want to show you guys this little trick I picked up real quick. So these wood screws, my, my concrete screws aren't long enough to go through the two by four and the brick. So I'm using wood screws and with nothing, they're not gonna hold, right? So what I do is took just a piece of copper out of a piece of Romex. Um, you put that in there, this is 12 gauge and just bend the excess down. And that is going to give the screw something to bite into when you're screwing it in there. So I did this on the other side too. Uh, I'm gonna do another one here at the bottom and this will hold it tight. And for the purpose of this, just holding a little light fixture, um, you know, it's, it's not gonna ever fall down. This backer put up. This one's pretty sturdy as well. Um, I have the pump temporarily hardwired in. Uh, this line is gonna hit another light fixture right here, and then from there I'm gonna hit the pump. So I'll just have it plugged in for a minute for me to go to the store, get another light fixture to go there. Um, we did put a two by four across the top here just to kind of brace this for the time being. I'm gonna have to do something about this sooner than later though because it is dripping right here and I don't like that at all. All right, and I'm all done. So it came out exactly how I thought it would, how I wanted it to anyway. Um, we got rid of all the trash and crap that was in here. Kind of straightened it up a little bit. Um, we got this switch right here, which controls uh, both of these lights and as well as the pump. So I can leave the power on, turn that switch off, and disconnect everything, which is a nice feature. Um, I got both of these lamps put in. And the pump kicked on. I'll wait for this to quit running. Give it just a minute. All right, so the pump just stopped. Um, basically, pretty straightforward from the switch to the light fixture. I just ran it up across the top here to the other side. Uh, I'm gonna strap this down somehow. I don't really wanna strap it to the top because I'm gonna replace this anyway. So I'll take care of that later, but it's out of the way. Um, it's not really a big deal. Both of these can be cut on or off separately. Uh, I'm gonna leave both of them on because right now my weather app is reading 32 out, so it is quite cold. Um, so let me show you from this one, from this light fixture, I came down to the pump and 
I hardwired the pump in and we got rid of that old cord that was there. So I feel a lot better about this too. So I put the cover on there. Again, I can strap this later, but it's not really a big deal. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to shut the door and let this sit for about, I don't know, 45 minutes to an hour. And then I'm gonna get my thermal camera back out, come back out and take an after video to see how things are heating up or not heating up. Uh, we'll, we'll be able to see what it's doing, so yeah. Pretty happy with how it came out. All right, so it's been about an hour later and just real quick before I open it, what this app does is it shows you a temperature reading in the middle and then it points out the hottest and the coldest temperature on the screen. So on my back porch, my floodlight is the hottest at 79. The coldest is above the roof at 37 and the middle just reads whatever you're pointing at. So let's go ahead and take a look. And you know, the bricks are warmer than before already. So that's a good sign. All right. And so what this, the lights are kind of throwing off uh, the scale because they're so hot. So the light itself is reading at 275. Uh, close to 300 degrees so that makes everything else look freezing but in reality um, my pump is sitting around 66 the water lines are 55 52 53 and the top here is only about 80 so it is heating this room uh, just it just feels a lot warmer in here than it does outside um, and all I need it to do is keep these pipes from freezing so I think it will do just that um, and there goes the pump kicking on all right the pump just turned off you can see how running the pump heats that up it's now 87 88 degrees and the water lines, just the water, the friction moving through those lines heated those up a little bit. It looks burning hot, it's really not. Um, yeah, it's, it's just room temperature. Um, 63, 62, going all the way over. And you can actually see the electrical line is warmer now than before because it was pulling more power from the water pump. So it's super interesting to be able to see this stuff. I know they look burning hot they're not, they're still cold, but compared to earlier, I mean, you can you can see in my handprint with this app, so it, it picks up on a lot. Um, yeah, I'm really happy with how it's turned out. Feels a lot warmer in here than before, which is a good thing. And yeah, I'm gonna call that a night. Thanks for watching.